Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today we're on we're on Completionist Crafter episode number 58 and today we are crafting the most exclusive item that you can possibly craft in the game um, and that happens to be from the uh, Scroll of Fortune. Um, you have to have, um, it's this one, I can't remember how many points it is because it won't show me but uh, it is quite a few points, tier 8, um, the third reward um, you have to have the Scroll of Fortune as well, so you have to have bought it. Um, and that is the Dragon's Fjord recipe, which is a house, um, which we will be going through as well. Um, yeah, I think it's somewhere probably around 2,000 points, I would say, around there. Don't quote me, I don't exactly know. Um, but it is only available at the moment in the Winter Scroll of Fortune. I don't know if it will be available in the other Scroll of um, Winter Scroll of Fortunes, but... For Season 1 of the Scroll of Fortunes, the Winter 1 is the only place to get it. So I just looked at the wiki and it is um, 2,400 points in order to get this. So you better get cracking. Nine days left when you're seeing this. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't got it, um, that's also fine as well. But I'm going to show you how to craft it. Basically, not a too difficult recipe. As you can see, you need three braided vines, which you can get from questing in... Uh, in Mirage um, and Imperia, um, that's just kind of how I've got it. It's quite a rare drop. Um, I think there might be some in the Bazaar as well. Um, I don't know if there's a transmute for it either. Fire Pitting Kettle, which you can get from the Bazaar, there's quite a few in there. Uh, Mistwood, we've got a guide for that um, in uh, my Reagent Hunters um, series. Clawed Runestone, again, uh, uh, the Bazaar is a great place. Winter Bed, four of them, again, the Bazaar. Um, and Small Wheelbarrow, five of them. Again, the bazaar, and then Amber, I have a video on Amber. And then the thing that I found the most difficult to get was the Bear Proud rowboat. Um, if you're lucky, you can find them in the bazaar. I, they're really rare to get, but there is a spawn right here next to this boat here, so you can just pick it up, and I just went on, what, four of my characters to get them. Um, so yeah, that's also why it's no longer here, because I got it. Um, but yeah, let's head over to the housing crafting station. As always, um, everything else you will need um, the requirements and such um, will be on screen. We're not 100% sure on a lot of them, obviously, because it's such a new recipe and there's it's just from the Scroll of Fortune, so you get it. Um, but yeah, everything else will be on screen that you will need um, in a more clean fashion. But it is the housing crafting station, which we don't use often at the moment. Um, so yeah, Dragon's Fjord, create that bad boy. Um, all of it going. Oh no. Oh no, um, but that's fine. Sweet, um, and we can actually equip it. And see, we're gonna lock it and equip it. You have to be level two plus, apparently. Um, so yeah, let's just head over home. Let's head to our new home and see what it's like. Um, this this house did used to be available, I believe, um, on the crown shop. Um, I don't think it is anymore, but yeah, there is no fish in here, so it is quite an old house. Um, but yeah, Grizzleheim themed, pretty basic. Um, I mean, what can you expect? It's just a, just a normal castle that you can craft. Um, there's a wee little rainbow over there. I don't know if you can go there. We're just going to explore this because I've never been to this house before, ever. Um, we're just going to look on the outside before. I thought this was a bridge. Maybe it is a bridge. Oh, it is a bridge. We can go across it. I thought it was a bridge, and it is. There must be a secret somewhere around here if there's a bridge. Right, can we go through something? Usually there's, like, secrets in this house. Maybe in the houses. Maybe not. Maybe not. Not in this one. Maybe. Or I'm just bad at finding them. That could be a possibility. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty simple. Self-explanatory there. We'll go around the back real quick. Um, but yeah, nice wee Grizzleheim house. Um, quite a quite a cool wee little building here. Um, we're just going to head inside, see what's inside. See what's inside. Um, pretty basic, nice wee, very open feel. Um, I love the wee little balcony there. That's quite cool. Um, obviously the bank by the door. You can come up here in a wee little room here. There's an out. Oh, where does this take us? Oh, to a wee little balcony on the side. That's quite cool. That's pretty cool. And you can run along here. That's nice. That's nice. I like that touch. And you can just go to the other side as well. I assume it's basically the same on the other side. So we'll just quickly check. Um, and then you can go down to the start, which is where we were. Or you can go back up, up to more. And then you get the wee little balcony. That's pretty cool. This is a pretty, you know, it's a nice little house. That's all that matters. Um, and then obviously down to where we were just before. Um, we'll go back out and go around the back 
the other side and see if there's anything out there. But otherwise, very small house, pretty cool. But yeah, I thought we should just probably document the um, most rarest, or the most rarest, or just the rarest um, thing to craft in the game, um, because it is only from the Scroll of Fortune if you bought it. So yeah, I would, however, recommend buying the Scroll of Fortune. Um, I don't usually like those type of things, but the rewards that you get are actually very much worthwhile. Um, oh, you can go back here. What is down here? Ooh, adventure. Adventure. Oh, a wee little lookout. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. I like that. I like that a lot. I really like that. We're going to take a um, screenshot here because that's pretty That's pretty dope on our wee little fox as well. So cool. So cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is all for today's video. I thought we'd just craft the house, look around it because I don't think I've really seen this house before. So... <laughs> Yeah, as I said, it's quite a rare one. Um, it used to be in the crown shop, I believe, um, but it has been since removed. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. I kind of want to go down there. I think there might be something down there. Um, there's a path. We can go down here. Yes, we can cross. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's even more. There is even more. Oh, look. I actually have seen this house before. Yeah, there's a wee little um, thing here. Um, one of my friends has this actually. We were looking through it on stream one time. So I have actually seen this house. It just looks very undecorated when it's undecorated. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you subscribe, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember to craft outside the box.